Hello guys, good day. This is Lloyd the Passion. Welcome back to my channel and for today's vlog, we are going to Tagaytay for staycation and exploration. <laughs> So ayun na nga guys, we are on our way going to Tagaytay. Let's enjoy the party! So ayan, jamming muna tayo sa loob ng car while we are on our way going to Tagaytay. So as you guys know, usually nasa 1 hour to 1 and a half hour lang yung biyahe going to Tagaytay. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Jay! So ayan guys, alam niyo na yung reason ko bakit kami mag staycation sa Tagaytay. Birthday ng kaibigan namin na si Jay and of course kasama namin na nag-iisang beautiful and ever gorgeous Ate Jinky. So since hindi naman kami gano'n nagmamadali, nag-stop over kami para lang kumain ng lunch and saka kami ulit bumiyahe. And of course, since kaming tatlo is magaling sa timbiglaan, wala kaming choice kundi doon na lang bumili sa mga malls along Tagaytay. No? Since marami namang mga malls doon. So ayun na nga guys, bumili kami ng basic needs namin for staycation, especially toiletries and foods. So it's very important for us guys na mindful tayo sa mga dapat nating bilhin and kakailanganin during staycation para hindi tayo mahassle and pabalik-balik sa market para lang bumili ng mga kailangan natin. And by the way, we are going to one of the most famous landmarks here in Tagaytay which is the Wind Residence. So, Wind Residence is a project by SMDC here. And ayun na nga guys, nakarating na rin kami sa destination namin and here we go! Welcome to Wind Residence, Tagaytay. So, sa binok namin na unit, uh, combined unit siya which is worth 5,600. When we say combined units, ibig sabihin dalawang one bedroom siya na pinag-combine. So, sobrang lawak nung nabook namin na unit. So for you guys to have an idea, para sa mga gusto mag staycation here at Wind Residence, for peak season, yung one bedroom nila is nagre-range ng 3,000 to 3,500. And kapag hindi naman siya peak season at hindi siya taal view, usually nasa 2,500 yung pinakamababa and uh, of course, depende pa rin dun sa dress up ng unit and kung saan siya facing. So ganun ang rates dito sa my Wind Residence. Maraming investors here or unit owners ang nagpapaupa ng unit nila for staycation. It's because sikat nga and because Wind Residence is also very convenient to the malls na at least 5 to 10 minutes lang yung layo niya. And syempre, hindi rin mawawala ng commercial area sa baba si Wind Residence. Sa tapat lang mismo ng project, meron din mismo ang mga kainan, especially bulalo and kapag gabi. Pwede rin magsaya if you are ready and really willing to party. And here we are. Papunta na kami sa unit kung saan kami nagbook para ilagay lahat ng mga gamit namin at para makawagpahinga din sa glad. And ito na, sa wakas, nandito na rin kami sa unit namin para makapagpahinga. Charan! So super lawak ng nabook na units ni Jay. And after namin ilagay lahat ng gamit namin dito sa binok na unit ni Jay, nagpahinga lang kami sa glet and of course pumunta kami doon sa isa sa pinakasikat na Starbucks Tagaytay. Kung saan inabot kami ng gabi and napakaganda ng view. Super! <laughs> And of course, after naman namin sa Starbucks Tagaytay, sinulit namin yung araw, so nag-night swimming kami para ma-enjoy namin yung amenities ng Wind Residence. So this project, the Wind Residence, is well known for having a resort-styled amenities. And syempre, ayan, dala-dala nga namin yung mga gamit namin and pumunta lang kami doon sa staff para i-claim yung ticket at para mag-register before kami uh, mag-swimming. And by the way, once again, they are well known for developing our resort style amenities. They have a indoor swimming pool just in case man nilalamig ka. So pwede ka dito kasi medyo uh, maligamgam yung tubig. And also, they have badminton courts wherein pwede kang maglaro, which is good. At syempre, hindi pa rin namin pinalagpas yung outside pool area. It's because of the view. 
So, tiis ganda tayo today. <laughs> Once again, this is Wind Residence Tagaytay and welcome to its magical place. So after naming mag-swimming, bumalik agad kami sa unit namin para magbihes at para maghanap ng bulalo. So since Tagaytay is very well known for having a delicious bulalo, of course, isa yon sa mga hindi namin pinalagpas. Kaya, nagbihes agad kami after swimming and of course, hindi namin pinalagpas ang paghahanap ng bulalo. And ayun na nga guys, nakahanap na kami ng pwesto namin kung saan kami kakain ng bulalo. So, more or less, 3,000 yung nagastos namin pero sulit at marami na kaming nabili na putahe nung kami ay kumain dito. So, and if you really wanna know more about this place, of course, madali lang maghanap kasi sa mismong tapat yun ng wind residence meron din. But of course, nag-ikot-ikot kami, nagtanong-tanong muna kami before kami talaga uh, nakahanap ng final place na. And ayun na nga guys, of course, we are 100% satisfied sa bulalo na kinain namin. We are so happy kasi sulit lahat ng binayad namin. And syempre, hindi rin namin pinalagpas na i-celebrate yung birthday ng isa sa mga kaibigan namin, which is si Jay. Happy birthday! Clearly, one of the best destination talaga to celebrate your birthdays or any events of your life ang Tagaytay. Because once again, it's very convenient and it's very commendable. And ayun na nga, tapos na. Once again, this is Lloyd Unipasho. And if you really wanna know more about my contents and blog, don't forget to follow and subscribe. And you can also follow me on my social media accounts. Thank you so much and see you on next one. Bye! We're now going to Secret Beach. What is Secret Beach?